everyone, welcome to my channel. This week is my reading week at university and in typical fashion I have been using it to play pretty much the entirety of Red Dead Redemption 2. I did make some half-hearted attempts to plan a video today and initially I just started playing and that was it. But then this arrived through the door. This is from Books That Matter. They are a monthly book subscription service and their tagline is the monthly book subscription box to empower and inspire. So I've been looking for a book subscription box that really fits with my reading patterns and what I want to read more of. The issue I found with the previous book box I subscribed to, which was Prudence and the Crow, was that I felt that I perhaps didn't give them quite the right information for them to select books for me. And also the area that they were going to select books for me from is an area that I tend to pick my own stuff from anyway, so I ended up not reading any of the three books that they sent me. And that isn't at all a reflection on Prudence and the Crow, I know that lots of people love it, it's just not the right sort of books for me. So what I decided to do was to get each month a different book box from three or maybe possibly four different companies to just really see what I like and which sent me the best thing for the best value for money. So if you look online there are lots of different book boxes. The ones that I decided to focus on are not primarily concerned with YA fiction. There are some YA books that I like but I generally don't really read the genre and I felt that I would probably get books and not read them like I did last time. So I decided to focus on areas where I felt that I wanted to read more but I didn't really know where to start. Like many people I'm very comfortable with certain genres but for other things it seems kind of intimidating. There's so much out there and so many new things coming out that I really don't know where to start. So I went for books that matter, first of all, because I am trying to read more diversely. I've been doing the Read Harder Challenge this year, and I will be making a video at the end of the year about that and how I found the experience, because I really found that some books I surprisingly loved, and some I really disliked. And it's funny which ones I ended up liking, which ones I didn't like. I still have a few more books to read, but I think it's about five. So if you go to booksthatmatter.org.uk, you'll find a very simple and easy to use website. Their homepage makes it really clear what they stand for and what they believe in, and how they work as a subscription box. So it's pretty typical in how other book subscription boxes work. You subscribe, you sign up for a certain package, they offer 1 month, 3 month, 6 month and 12 month packages. They ship it out on the 1st of the month. I got mine on the 9th, which is fairly good. I wasn't expecting it bang on the 2nd. So they say that Books That Matter is the number one book subscription box to empower and inspire women through amazing literature. For £12 a month, you'll receive a beautiful box containing one book considered to be a book that matters, and at least two gifts from independent female, trans and non-binary artists. This is more than a subscription box, it is a gateway to opening your mind, an interactive community and an inspiration for social change. So within that, it should be kind of obvious why I chose this book box. The big draw for me was that it's fairly cheap, £12 a month for one book and for some gifts made by independent artists is huge for me. I know that you get a lot of things within different book boxes and different treats and so on, but I was really drawn to the fact that these were independent artists. My own mother is an artist, I do lots of my own sort of arts in the sense of writing and so on, so I know how much of an impact this can have on one individual person and I really liked that. The price wasn't the big draw for me as I don't have a huge amount of money as a student and I'm really looking at book boxes that are on the cheaper side and trying to find the best value for money. So I think it's finally time that we open her up. So I love the outside, I love their um, quite simple design. This is the inside, I haven't opened it yet. It's a little bit torn, the tissue paper here, but otherwise it looks very nice. Oh, I'm tearing it even more. Oh, so, so, so I've got some pencils. So one of them says, the green one says empower women and the pink one says support women, which obviously both those messages are very important. And then I've got this. Um, I won't read the whole thing out, it just basically tells you what's in the box. So I'm not going to immediately read that because I want to just see what's in the box. So this is the book. Oh, it's so beautiful. 
So it is Belonging by Umi Sinha. It's an absolutely gorgeous book and it was shortlisted for the Authors Club Best First Novel Award. So it's also a first novel. So it's clearly written by a woman of colour. So uh, I'll just read out the blurb. Umi Sinha's unforgettable debut is an intense, compelling and finely wrought epic of love and loss, of rape and ethnicity, of homeland and of belonging. So I already love those themes. From the darkest days of the British Raj to the aftermath of the First World War, Belonging tells the interwoven story of three generations and their struggles to understand and free themselves from a troubled history steeped in colonial violence. This is a novel of secrets that unwind through Leela Langdon's story of exile to England, through her grandmother Cecily's letters home from India, and through the diaries kept by her father, Henry, as he puzzles over the enigma of his birth and his stormy marriage to the mysterious Rebecca. Oh, and the inside as well, that is a map of, I assume, India. Yes, it is. There, up there, is the pool. My boyfriend's parents come from the pool, so it's nice to see it. So yes, it was shortlisted for the Authors Club Best First Novel Award, and longlisted for the Historical Writers Association Goldsboro Debut Crown. I assume that's one thing and not two things. 321 pages, so not hugely long. Um, I will try to read that this month, certainly by the end of the year. So yes, very excited for this. So this is a postcard. So the pencils on this postcard are made by Some Home Truths, which is somehometruths.com, inspired by Mighty Women. I think that through the marketing of all of this and the way that it's presented, it's very much sort of tapping into the sort of minimalist sense, which I like. Okay, and then I have, is it a notebook? From Literary Emporium, Gifts for Book Lovers. And it's got a quote on the front from Virginia Woolf. It says, no need to hurry, no need to sparkle, no need to be anybody but oneself. Excellent advice. And this has been made exclusively for books that matter. So this is just a little notebook and I think it's really nice. Um, I like the simplicity of the colours. It's all quite pastel-y. I'm usually not a huge fan of pastel colours, but I think in this instance it really works. And I really like the inclusion of these independent artists. All of the details from this will be in the description box down below as well. So if you like the look of books that matter and you'd like to order one for yourself, it says on this little um, leaflet that they gave me in the box that the next one will be on self-care and it will be a hardback book. Self-care literary themed gifts not to be missed. They will also make the perfect Christmas and holiday gifts so don't hesitate to subscribe now on our website. I think so far from what I've seen they're a company that are doing a lot of good and they're really trying to help and not just make something that is over commercialised and super super pricey so if you're looking for something even just as a one-off thing I would recommend trying them and see if you like them at the moment because I want to review other ones I won't be ordering the next month's one which is kind of disappointing in that I would like some self-care stuff but at the end of looking at these book boxes I'll see which ones I prefer which one I think is the best value for money and I certainly think that this is a very good book box and at the end of the day if you end up sort of not liking the book that much, it's £12 and you've got a brand new book, one that's been carefully selected as something that is trying to bring about change in the world or is empowering, and you have also been supporting independent artists. So I think that's really good and I really admire everything that Books That Matter is doing. When I saw what they were doing, I immediately wanted to support them. And I'm really pleased that the feminism that they're championing is one that is inclusive. Let me know what you would look for in a book box and whether Books That Matter is something that you want to give a try. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.